Hey guys, so welcome back to my channel. For today's video, we're gonna be testing out a bunch of brand new makeup because you guys already know how it is in the makeup world. There is just new stuff constantly every single day, it seems like, and there's honestly probably new makeup coming out as we speak right now. So we're gonna do a full face of first impressions. I have quite a few new things here, some drugstore slash affordable, and of course, I'm throwing some high-end makeup in the mix in today's video, but the affordable stuff always seems to outweigh the high-end stuff on my channel. That is just how it is. But honestly, the main reason I even wanted to film another full face of new makeup is because of the new Tarte Ultra Creamy Concealer. So we're gonna be testing this out today as well as a couple other new products. So I hope you guys enjoy. Grab a snack and make sure you subscribe to my channel if you have not already and hit the bell. That way you're notified every single time I upload and let's get into a full face of brand new makeup. So I am starting off with fresh lids. I actually just primed them. I just used my Urban Decay Primer Potion, but I have a new eyeshadow palette here that looks really good. So this is the LA Girl Hey Hey Vacay Eyeshadow Palette. I'm actually a huge fan of LA girl eyeshadows and they have a ton of these little palettes they're super pretty they have a ton of different colors and this is just like everything I mean like these tones I feel like they could work for summer or also fall as well but it looks really pretty I think I'm gonna do like a light green like super wearable kind of warm smoky eye today so I am gonna start off with the color right up top here and I'm gonna apply that as my transition color I also love these huge mirrors that come in these palettes they are so convenient and like this is huge. This is like high end, but I believe these palettes are definitely under $20. They might be a little bit pricier like for drugstore, but I have to say like from the ones that I did try, they're really great quality and I like the variety of mattes and shimmers. Then I'm going to go into this color right here. It's like a little bit of a brighter orange. Look at that pigment, you guys. I'm just going to take that and kind of Put that right below where I just applied that transition color. I always like to layer my eyeshadows just to see how they do layer, if they still blend really easily. But these are really nice. I like the tones in here too, like the green with the orange, it's so pretty. Ugh, these bronzy tones in here, like I'm so drawn to these shades, but I'm actually gonna use this really pretty light green. I love this one too, this looks really pretty, but it's a little bit darker. They both look gorgeous, but I think I'm gonna go with the lighter one just for like a light kind of summery look. Let's go in with a dry brush first just to see how the color looks on its own. Ooh, pretty. I am gonna spray just to make this pop a little bit more, but it's definitely pigmented on its own as you can see. And then I'm gonna use this light gold shade right here. And I'm actually just gonna use my finger with this. And I'm just gonna put that right here. Kind of on the center, but it's also gonna help just to blend the edges of that shadow out a little bit as well. Just really lightly. I'm actually, let's add in this bronzy color up top as well. These are really, really soft. You could totally just use your finger as well. Look at the swatch, you guys. Like I just swatched the other green color because I'm kind of debating adding in the darker green because I feel like the colors are actually a little bit lighter when you apply them. So I think I'm gonna add that other darker green and then we'll add that other shade in the center. Let's just go with it. So let me add that darker green right over top of that lighter green that I did. It's actually not darker like by much. It's not like as deep as I thought it was gonna be. It's actually really pretty and light and wearable. Then I'm gonna take that lighter color. I'm just layering a bunch of shades over top, but I wasn't really sure what I wanted to do. Like I know I wanted to do green, but then when I actually put on the greens, I'm like, you know what? This darker green is actually very pretty. I don't know if you guys can even see the difference of what I just did there, but I can and I like it. And I'm gonna add this darker green on the outer crease. Just a little bit right here. And then I'm gonna take more of that orangey color right here. And I'm just gonna blend the edges of that out. So I'm starting off again with the darker green. You see how it's like dark, but it's still kind of light. Like it's not too dark. It's kind of giving me Elf and Chipotle vibes, like that collab that they came out with. I feel like I, I think I actually did a look that is so similar to this now that I am remembering. I'm gonna take more of that green and I'm gonna run that on the outer lash line and build it up a little bit more. 
just to give it a more kind of smoky look. Basically dragging it back and forth. I do this with a lot of my eyeshadows and I just love the look that it gives because I think it really smokes out your look. And then with the darker green, I think it contrasts really well with this kind of lighter green right here. I like the look of it. So we're gonna just build this up. Okay, just wiped away the fallout. I'm in love with this eyeshadow palette. The colors clearly layer really nicely. They're super creamy and blendable, and I really like the colors in here. So I was gonna do winged liner, but I think I'm just gonna keep this look super, super smoky and simple. So I'm just gonna move into mascara and lashes. So I have here the new ColourPop Act Natural Defining Mascara. I have the brown and the black version right here. This looks really, really good. I actually think I'm gonna do the brown mascara. This is what the packaging looks like, super pretty. And the wand is also very nice as well. Ooh, it's separating. It's definitely like showing up on my little baby lashes, which is always good. I'm kind of wiggling the brush up onto my lashes and this is actually showing up and it looks really, really good. I love this brown color too. For lashes today, I actually have these from Dollar Tree, which I thought would be so pretty with this look because they are a little bit more on like the voluminous dramatic side. These are the wispy, long, spiky lashes. These are literally from Dollar Tree, you guys. If you've never tried this brand, you need to. The lashes are 3D foam ink lashes, cruelty-free, $1. They come in beautiful different styles and they're definitely hit or miss. Like you have to go to specific Dollar Trees to find them. I have to travel whenever I go to my Dollar Tree to find these lashes, but one of you guys were actually so kind to send me a bunch of the Ioni lashes, so I still have tons of them, but Dollar Tree is where you can get them. My Dollar Tree doesn't always have all of the styles. They have like a lot of the more natural styles, so I was excited about these because they are definitely like a really pretty, more dramatic, wispy lash. I mean like, these are fluffy and like you wouldn't even know these are a dollar. It's crazy. So let me put these on. I'm going to use, of course, my Kiss Strip Lash Adhesive and then I'll be right back and we will move into the face. You guys, I have no words for these lashes. They are absolutely beautiful. Like I can't get over them. Now for primer, I thought this was perfect for, of course, spring and summertime. I mean, you should always wear SPF, but I think especially now that we're going to be outside in the sun, this is a must. Hopefully it's good. But this is the Milani SPF 30 Primer. So this is supposed to be a primer with SPF. PF in it, but it's also supposed to make your makeup last all day as well, which I'm all about. I'm a huge fan of the Milani Make It Dewy Primers. Their glass skin primer is really good. So I saw this and I was like, okay, this has to be good. And I already have on like my skincare. I already did SPF. Oh, wow. This is creamy. I used too much. But then again, I feel like there's never like enough SPF. Like the more the merrier. Oh wow, this blends into the skin really, really nicely though. It's like really seamless as you can see. I thought I used too much and I didn't think it was gonna blend, but it's actually a lot better than I thought it was gonna be. Has a lightweight lotion texture, I agree. A natural finish, I agree. It actually doesn't even really smell like heavy SPF, which is nice. I think it also gives your skin a really natural, healthy glow, which I'm all about. Now for foundation, I have a skin tint actually. This is the Ciate London Dewy Skin Glass Glow Skin Tint. So I have two different shades here. They actually sent these to me in PR. I have 060 and 050. So I think we'll try out 050 because I don't have any color to be right now. So this is supposed to be a cushion-like balmy formula that provides a luminous, translucent skin with natural coverage while maintaining the ultra gluey, gluey, dewy, glass-like finish. It says apply a pearl-sized amount to face and blend using either your fingertips or a brush. Ooh, I think the color is going to be perfect. I'm gonna do something out of my comfort zone. I only really ever did this before with the Fenty Skin Tint, but I'm gonna blend this in with my fingers. Or at least on this side, I'll blend it in with my fingers and then I'll blend the other side out with a brush. Oh wow, this is, what color did I use, 050? Wow, this is gonna be, I think, a little bit too dark. But I think with concealer, I can definitely make it work. Wow, this is pretty. It's really soft, but like it blends into the skin really nicely. I feel like it evened out my skin tone. It makes everything look really, really seamless. All right, let's blend this out with a brush just to see if there's like a difference. But I think with your fingers, this blends in really nicely. And then for the other side, I'm just using my Haley's Beauty Kabuki brush. It's definitely a dewy, fresh skin tint. I really feel like I get the same kind of effect with both the brush and with my fingers. 
The brush is nice because you can just kind of go in and buff anything that you might have missed with your fingers, but it looks really good. It's super natural, really fresh, kind of like your skin, but better. So minus the fact that the color is a little bit too dark, I love the way that this looks on the skin. I feel like it is so smooth. It's very natural, but it still definitely covers up and gives you a little something. It's not completely light coverage. Now for concealer, finally, I'm going to be testing out the new Tarte Ultra Creamy Shape Tape Concealer. I got this one in light sand. This was the only shade that they had at Ulta and I didn't feel like ordering it online even though I'm gonna have to because this is way too light for me honestly so this is supposed to be basically like I think they're regular Tarte Shape Tape but it's just creamier and more hydrating on the skin I literally don't even have regular Tarte Shape Tape in my collection anymore I had like a mini size and I ended up getting rid of it just because I don't like the concealer in the beginning I loved this concealer but the more that I used it and the more that more different brands started coming out with different products I was like you know what maybe this isn't that great and I think a lot of us realized that as well but I'm excited excited about this because I love a good creamy concealer. Oh, this is going to be too light. We're going to have to just make it work. Like I have no choice because I don't have a different shade in this concealer. It's actually not terrible. I mean, it's very, very light. I didn't use that much for that reason, but I think I can work with this. First impression though, minus the color being off, it is very creamy. It's much creamier than the original Tarte Shape Tape. I'm gonna do a little bit right down my nose, like a tiny bit. And let's do some on the chin. See how easily it blends? This is kind of giving me e.l.f. Hydrating Camo Concealer vibes. I'll have to do kind of like a dupe maybe comparison video. Let me know if you guys are interested in that. But I will say this blends really nicely. It's super creamy. Even though the color is really light though, I think since the skin tint was a little bit too dark, it kind of balanced itself out. Okay, now for powder. I have this one from Thrive Cosmetics. It is the Filtered Effect Soft Focus HD Setting Powder. I love Thrive Cosmetics. It's such a great brand. They have great products. So this is supposed to be a hydrating, smoothing powder that softens your skin and it gives you a matte but never flat flawless finish. I'm going to use a brush. This one is from BH Cosmetics. It says to just dip your brush into the mesh, which this is what it looks like. Oh, I actually really like the mesh because you can control how much powder you're actually using because sometimes with translucent powder, it just gets, I mean, this is still messy, but it just gets everywhere and a lot of powder tends to be wasted. So I think the mesh is really nice. I know a couple brands do that. Before I didn't really like it, but now I feel like it just helps you control the product and it helps you to not use an excess amount of powder on your face, which I tend to do a lot. And I'm gonna use a flat powder brush. This one is actually from Equate. I got it at Walmart and I'm just gonna use this just to set the rest of my makeup. So far so good with the powder. It seems really nice. It doesn't feel drying. It does have a matte finish, but just like the claims, it's not drying on the skin at all. I feel like the finish is really nice and it's more of like a natural soft matte finish. I'm gonna move into bronzer. So I found this palette at TJ Maxx. If you guys watched my TJ Maxx shop with me that I just did, I featured this brand in there, but this is the brand Cara Beauty and this is the Make a Statement eyeshadow palette. So I believe this is the volume three palette. Does it have it here on the back? Yes, issue three. So it's really beautiful. Beautiful. their packaging everything it looks like a little magazine cover which is stunning but these come in different issues so they have like a one and two and then again this is the three this is such a fun palette of course for summer and it has those really pretty green tones in here as well I didn't even realize I could have used these two but I wanted to test out the LA Girl palette, but I really want to use the bronzer in here because this looks stunning. It's just like a really pretty warm bronzer which is like the kind of colors that I like to use so I'm gonna use this today just gonna add some color back to the skin I didn't use any cream products today like obviously besides like concealer and the skin tint but no cream bronzer no cream blush so we're just gonna add some good old powdered bronzer and with that same bronzer I'm gonna bronze my chest because clearly I need it this is really nice though I like the tone of it because it's not muddy it's not too orange and 
seems to be blending in really nicely. Okay, next up for blush, you guys, look at these little blush quads from ColourPop. So they sent these to me and I was like, okay, these look incredible. They come in a couple other colors as well, but I just picked these three light shades that I feel like would work well with my skin tone. Looks like you get three blushes in here and a highlighter. So they all have different names. Like this one is in Cookie Cluster and then this one is Sugar Frosted. This one is very bronzy, simple. I might use this one today. And then the other color I have is Extra Glazed and this one is more kind of pinky. So I think I'm actually gonna use this palette today and maybe I'll mix in some of the colors in here as well. And then for highlighter, I'll probably end up mixing both because they both look stunning. So let's do it. I'm gonna just dip into these colors. Ooh. Wow, these are super wearable. They give you a light flush, but it seems like you can build them up, which is nice. I ended up going in with Cookie Cluster. I thought it was going to be a little bit too bright for my cheeks, but it's actually very pretty. So let's do highlighter. I'm going to add this one. I'm just going to use my finger. I feel like these definitely work best with your finger. So you definitely glow, but like I like the finish of these because it's like a cream to powder, so you don't get that powdery kind of residue all over the place, but you still get a very gorgeous glow. Okay, so these I love. For the lash line, I'm gonna go into the orangey color right, right here. I'm gonna actually take both of these shades. Just smudge those right on that lash line. I think I'm actually going to use the green and the brown instead. At least on the outer portion and then maybe I'll add some orange kind of towards the inner portion. I love this palette you guys. And like I said, LA Girl has a ton of these so this is like one of many but they are so pretty. They're so fun. And then with that same brush I just cleaned it off with a washcloth. I'm going to use the orange kind of in the inner portion of the lower lash line. Okay, so I'm just gonna line my waterline with the Milani Stay Put Eyeliner. This one's in Moss Boss. I've tried these before, they're very creamy. And they come in really pretty kind of like earthy tones. I'm just gonna coat my lower lashes. I really like this mascara though, let me tell you. Like I usually can tell if I like a mascara right away and this one is really, really nice. I feel like you can really get in there and lengthen your lashes because it has like these little tiny fibers, but it's not clumpy or goopy and I love this brown. This is very nice. Last and final thing I'm gonna do for the eyes is just highlight the inner corners with this really light peachy bronze color. Okay, now for lips. I have quite a few different lip products here, but I think I'm gonna do a pop of like bright orange on the lips because I always do nudes. So I figured today would be a good day to switch it up. So these are from JCat Beauty. I have all the colors right here. So these, what I was really intrigued about is because they do say that they are mask proof on them, which is interesting. So these are the Lip Lock Liquid Lipsticks. And again, they're mask proof. They come in a couple different colors. I'm gonna use the bright orange. So it has nice little packaging right here. And I'm not gonna do any lip liner. I just want to see how it looks on its own. Oh, they smell like mint. Ooh. Okay, but I actually love the fact that this liquid lipstick smells like mint because a lot of them just smell like vanilla cupcakes, which I love. Don't get me wrong, but it's very refreshing to have something literally that smells like mint and it's like different. Sometimes there are some plumping glosses that do smell like mint, but I've never tried a liquid lipstick that smells like mint or that feels cooling on the lips like this one does right now. The pigment is on point. One layer is all you need. So far, it does look like it's drying down and it feels really comfortable on the lips, but this looks really good. I actually really like this color too. I thought it was fitting with the eye makeup today. The last and final thing I'm gonna do is just set my makeup. I'm just using the Milani Fruit Fetish Spray. This one is the Dragon Fruit Peach, which is one of my favorites. And we're all done with the look. All right, you guys, so I have to say this is definitely a super successful first impressions video and I think one of the best ones that I've had like so far this year. I loved everything that I used and this is a case where I literally loved every single product that I used in today's video. Like I have no complaints. First of all, let's try out this liquid lipstick and see if it's kiss proof. Not bad, for the most part, I do feel like it is kiss proof. I'll let you guys know if this is actually mask proof when I go to the store, but I love the way everything looks. And yeah, like I said, I have no complaints. So let's go through the products and I'll give you guys some quick speed reviews. First things first, eyeshadow palette is stunning. I love the tones in here, the formula, the mirror, everything about this palette I love to have no issues with it. These shadows work really well, especially the shimmers with your finger or with a brush. You don't have to spray your brush, but you can if you really wanna make them stick a little bit better. The mattes are creamy, blendable. They build up really nicely, this entire palette. I love this 
mascara. Didn't think I was gonna really like fall in love with this, but this is so good. I'm in love with this for the top and lower lashes. This actually shows up and I have tiny lashes. So if you have amazing lashes that are super long, I can only imagine how good this will be on your lashes. It's not goopy and wet and like really clumpy. It's amazing. I love the wand, everything. So this is really good and I love the brown shade. This concealer is actually really nice from Tarte. The reason I put it back in the packaging is because I am gonna return it for my actual shade, but I do feel like this is much creamier than their original. Um, I think the coverage is nice. I kind of used a little bit of product as I went and built it up very lightly just because the shade is too light for me, but I think it looks awesome on the skin and I really enjoy the formula of it a lot more than the original. This skin tint from Ciate London is beautiful. Although I do love medium to full coverage products, I think this is really nice because it doesn't have a ton of coverage, but it definitely does enhance your complexion. And I like the way that it looks on the skin because it's not totally light coverage to the point where it looks like there's nothing on your face. It definitely does have a little something there, but it's really pretty. I like it. So this is good. Love the Thrive Cosmetics powder as well. So far, this feels really nice. It's a really light, soft matte powder that I think could work for every day. Love the packaging too and how you can control kind of how much product you're using so you don't waste a lot of powder. And it was really seamless, really soft. It feels comfortable and it set my makeup really nicely. These cheek palettes from ColourPop, I love. I think they're very natural. You can build them up. The highlighters in here are stunning, especially with your finger. If you dab it in, you get the prettiest glow. This primer from Milani, I'm blown away. I know I'm kind of going all over the place. I normally go in order, but this primer is amazing. I not only love the fact that it's supposed to make your makeup last all day, which I'll keep you guys updated on how this makeup wears, but I love the fact that the SPF isn't too overwhelmingly strong. It's super creamy. It feels like a moisturizer and it's actually so seamless and lightweight on the skin. You literally cannot tell that you're wearing SPF with this, which I really enjoy. So this is really good. I think this is going to be a hit for the spring, especially summertime. So I really like this a lot and I love how naturally glowy it was on the face as well. These lashes from Ioni are incredible. You need them. They're a dollar. Need I say more? The lip product feels really nice. It doesn't feel like I'm wearing anything on my lips and I really like this color. I think it's really fun. And then this bronzer in here was also super smooth and creamy. So check out this brand Cara Beauty. They have tons of variety on their website. So long story short, we have some great products in today's video. And this is like one of the few like very rare times where I tested out like a bunch of brand new makeup and every single product worked out for me and I loved it. And there's usually at least like one or two products that I'm not crazy about, but for today, like I'm actually loving this entire look and all the products that I used. So definitely check out these products. I will link everything that I used down below in the description box. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today. I hope you're doing well and I will see you very soon in my next video. Bye.